Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sisterhood Book Club for 2012. Happy New Year. I know I'm late. I'm sorry, but God has blessed me to see another year. I have been very busy. But this year, I'm going to spice it up, and I'm going to put little different things in there, not just book reviews. So hang in there with me. And all the newcomers that I have came, um, since I, because I haven't been on here for a minute, my new subscribers, I really appreciate you subscribing to me. And hello, my old subscribers, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, now today, this is going to be episode one. And it's going to be on my 25 book challenge off of Goodreads. And my first book is Charlene Harris. And this book is Dead Into Dark. I give this book... <coughs> A lot of props because Charlene Harris is my very first book I ever, ever read of hers. And I tell you, this book here is, it was okay. It wasn't what I expected from the hype and all that, but it was okay. Okay, so we're going to, this book here takes place in New Orleans. And the main character is Suki, Suki Stackhouse. I know a lot of people probably have read this book already, but I'm just... <coughs> following the protocol, and letting everyone know that might not have read this book. Okay, so we're going to start with the main character, Suki Stackhouse. Now, Suki Stackhouse, she works in this bar in New Orleans, and, of course, she's a waitress. Now, one day she's in the bar, and a vampire shows up. Now, according to Suki, she, um, they've been waiting around for a vampire to enter because there haven't been any coming. Now, this vampire is not like the, a regular vampire. This vampire <coughs> is dead until dark. This why this title here actually stands its ground because at, at daylight, he do not show his face. At dark, when it gets dark, he rises. He's not in a coffin. Okay, but we're going to get to all that. So, Suki Stackhouse, she works as a waitress, and she comes across this vampire named Bill. Now, as she's doing her rounds and <clears throat> serving people, she noticed that this couple called Rat Trey moves over to Bill's table, was talking to Bill. Now, the Rat Trays are known for draining vampires of their blood, and then they come and whoever bit, whoever they sell it for the highest price. So the rat trade talks to Bill, and she keeps um, doing her daily routine. She has to serve the customers and stuff. But then she noticed that Bill and the couple disappeared. So she asked her brother Jason, which is a whole nother, other subject, Jason, to let to borrow his chain. He has a chain on the back of his truck. And she goes outside, and she finds the rat tray draining Bill of the blood. Now, don't ask me how a dead vampire <laughs> got blood. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even understanding that part. But I guess because they get blood from someone else and, you know, I, it's just too much. My mind was just wondering and wondering and wondering, how do this even... Anyway, <laughs> I'm not even going to get into that. So, mm, Suki comes to his rescue, kick the couple's butt, and send them on their way and save Bill. So now Bill is in debt to her. So the next day, Bill comes at nighttime while she's on her regular schedule to work. So he asks uh, Suki for a date. Suki says, sure, no problem. Jason finds out, and Jason is very upset because he don't want his sister going out with no vampire. So Jason, let's get to Jason now. Jason, he is just a scum. He's a scum of the earth. I didn't care for him. He would screw anybody that comes his way. Jason is just. Ew. Let's put that away. He's a truck driver, and he's a, 
he's the brother of Suki. Now, Jason has screwed a whole lot of a whole lot of women. And the women that he winds up having sexual relationships with, he they videotape this. So the videotape winds up coming back hunting him because the young lady that he was having sexual relationships with winds up getting killed. So this is a romance slash murder slash mystery because you don't know who did it until the end, and at the end it's a shocker. Now, Suki is, she has a special, tele, it's called telepath. Uh, a special gift, I should say. And the special gift consists of, she can read anybody's mind that comes across, but Bill. Now, she can't read Bill's mind because he's dead. He's a vampire. So she's really enjoying this because all the dates that she usually go on, she can read their mind and nothing goes beyond the date one or date two because they are already thinking, and she can read what they're thinking. So that, th them dates that she used to go on does not even go nowhere. So now since she can't read Bill's mind, and Bill is this tall, handsome vampire that has all the qualities that she's looking for, except she, he, she can't see him at the dark. She has a problem with that because she can't see him at nighttime. Until nighttime, I'm sorry. So, Suki finds out um, that Bill is a very, very old vampire. He's like 100 years plus. So, now since he knows this and she goes back home and tells her, grand her grandmother what's going on, the grandmother asks her to ask Bill to come and tell her about the war the war that was going on about their ancestors. So Bill agrees upon it, and that was the first meeting they had, and so on and so forth. So to, to make a long story short, Suki and Bill, they fall in love. Bill is a vampire. Jason is accused of murder because all the women that he has sexual relationship with is murder. Then you have Suki Ball. And he's something else. He liked Suki, but he knew Suki wasn't trying to even have that. But now, since Bill has stepped in, he's trying to move in. And then Suki Boss has a secret that only he never told Suki. And Suki has been working with him for years and years and years. So now, that, that the secret come out. But <clears throat> you'd be shocked who you really think killed the, the ladies. And even Suki's grandmother get killed. So um, the author really throws the grandmother in there to throw you off because you're saying, well, all these other women that get killed, the kind of life they live, they like to have relationships with vampires. So somebody is out there is actually killing them because of the life they live. But then when the author throws in the grandmother, you can say, well, the grandmother didn't, didn't have sexual relations with no vampire. And then... You'd be like, okay, so the author throws you off, and that's a good thing because you don't know who out of all these characters you have just a gang of characters that you have to think about and go over in your mind who could might have done it and why. And I did not know who killed the lady and the grandmother into up until the very end, and that's some good writing there. So this is my very first book for... 2012, Dead, Dead Until Dark, and it's by Charlene Harris, and if you haven't picked up the copy, pick one up today. This is my, a library copy, and I, I really, I might continue with the series, I don't know, can't promise, but this is my very first one, okay? So, I give this book here, Dead Until Dark, Three Dead Vampires. I gave it three dead vampires because I like the book. So, y'all yeah, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video. And have a blessed 2012. Bye-bye.